Hello everyone, this is Inma and today I would like to give you some tricks for speed painting. Trick number one. If you put all your layers into one folder and then you set that folder's color to whatever you want your sketch to be, you can create tons of layers inside that folder and all of them will have the same color. This is helpful because when you are inking later, if uh, the sketch is black, it's going to be very hard to see the lines that you are inking on top of them. So by making them a different color, it's a lot easier to work on the line art. Trick number two, using 3D elements for details that are hard to draw. In this case, I downloaded these uh, Googles from Assets and there are even more objects that you can download or that came with the software. This makes it easier to uh, have some elements that normally would be very hard to draw, such as this. Once you are done setting the angle, all you have to do is to convert the layer uh, to line art. What I'm doing now is to convert the resulting uh, line art layer into vector. Because I want to edit the way it looks, I want to change the brush shape and I can only do that with vectors. I want to make it so that it looks like pencil because it's the kind of liner that I'm going to work on for the rest. So I don't want the Googles to stand out too much. Now I can ink using the pen that I had in mind. I give all layers the same color value, just like I did with the um, uh, folder for the sketch. I do this because the pen that I'm using to ink has a specific color that I cannot change otherwise. So when you encounter such a pen, you can change the color by changing the color of the whole layer. Trick number three, filling each element on a different layer. I'm going to apply base color first to the whole illustration and I want each element to be on a different layer so that it's easier for me to shade them separately later. The problem with um, the inking pen that I used is that it's very hard to use the bucket now because it has a lot of it leaves a lot of white spaces in order to solve this problem because i inked on a vector layer what i do is to duplicate the line art layer i hide one of them and for the other one uh, because it's vector i can change the shape so i make it the normal pen which is very flat so it is very easy to apply the bucket now. This is just temporary, just for the bucket option. But later on I will make the line art back to what I initially made. I start uh, working on each element using green because it's the easiest color for me to see if I'm leaving some uh, blank dots and such. And later on, I will change the color by using the edit uh, change color 
of line art to drawing option on the menu. The colors that you choose now don't have to be final, you can edit them later. When there is one element that has uh, many different colors, such as the goggles, what I do is to uh, paint the whole area with one color and then I start creating different layers on top with the clip at layer below option so as to add each different color into a different layer. But later, when I'm going to apply the shadows, it's going to be over all those layers. Trick number four, creating a light focus. It is very important to know before you start shading uh, you need to know where the light is coming from. If you draw um, an X on the illustration to decide the light focus, it will help you see the whole time uh, where the shadows should be applied. A little trick when shading is that sometimes it's easier to fill the whole area with shadow and then remove parts than to work on the shadows themselves over the lighter um, base color. I don't do this for all elements on the illustration but sometimes it just feels easier depending on what I'm coloring. Trick number five, saving colors. When you are applying shadows with a uh, watercolor style, uh, the best way to save the colors that you are using is by creating a new layer on top of all the others. This layer you are going to uh, delete or hide it later. And on that layer just paint with the color that you are using so that later on if you need that color again you can get it back with the eyedropper. Trick number six, be creative when it comes to brushes. To give you an example of this, um, to color, to shade the fur, uh, what I'm doing is to use uh, a brush that was originally a cloud. You can use different brushes that have uh, nothing to do with the element that you are actually coloring, but if you can create nice effects with them, just don't be afraid to use them. Of course the cloud alone isn't good enough for this uh, far effect that I want to make but it's giving me a good base to work on. For the googles I'm using the trick that I gave you before. Just shade the whole thing and then remove the parts that should be lightened. Trick number seven, using existing backgrounds to create a new one. Clip Studio Paint comes with tons of backgrounds that you can use and then you can download even more from assets. What I do is to create new ones by combining them using overlay or screen mode and also changing colors. 
Again, all you have to do is to be creative. You can mix um, skies and textures, etc. Trick number 8. Edit character colors to fit the background. Once I have my background, I can see that the character needs some adjusting. Uh, so what I do is to create a selection from all the layers that make the character so that whatever edit I make now doesn't apply to the background. I can now change the color balance and apply um, the airbrush, etc. Trick number 9. Adding lights effects to the line art. What I do now is to create a new layer in screen mode over all the other layers and I add some lines on top of the line art where the light should be coming from. I also use the same layer to add loose hairs because that always gives a nice touch. Trick number 10. Use textures. Once I apply the texture that I want to use, what I do is to mask the whole thing so that um, it disappears from the screen. And now I will use the airbrush to paint over the parts where I want my texture to appear. So this is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found some tricks uh, useful for your art. And if you like my stuff, you can check my YouTube, Patreon, social media that will come next. Thank you very much again and see you next time. Bye bye.